Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be answering a unusual but common question and it's gonna be short-winded. So can chickens eat grapes? Before I get into that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also make sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So giving chickens treats is a pastime that's favorite for a lot of chicken lovers. It's easy to toss your flocks and leftovers and assume they'll be able to eat them without issue. But the truth is not all treats are created equal. Lucky for you, if you're a grape lover, grapes are a safe choice as a chicken treat and your chickens will love you for it. Grapes are juicy and sweet, even when they start to shrivel up. Raisins, anyone? But be warned, your chickens will fight over these tasty little morsels if you haven't provided enough for everyone. So yes, overall, in moderation, grapes are safe for chickens. Now let's learn a little bit more about chickens and their relationships with grapes. So chickens can eat grapes and it's safe, but should they? In theory, there's no issues, but everyone knows that too much of a good thing can actually turn out to be a bad thing. Chickens who swallow grapes whole may choke. Remember your chickens are toothless. So an overeager chicken may panic and swallow too soon and choke. I personally have never seen this happen, but it's a possibility. So make sure to introduce your grapes slowly and your chook should be able to handle them in moderation. As you may have noticed, I'm urging you that word over and over, moderation, it should never be considered a complete diet. While grapes aren't bad for your chickens, they're not gonna provide the daily nutrients or nutrition that your chickens need. I want you to consider a chicken's natural diet. So take time to consider what they eat in nature and how much of it they might consume if they just happen to cross something delicious. For example, chickens would probably happily pluck away at fresh grapes if they came across them in the wild, but you aren't gonna find a bush of raisins nearby, so it's safe to assume that chickens wouldn't ever access them in nature. Additionally, chickens may come across a grapevine, eat until they are content, and then move on to something else. They won't gorge indefinitely on grapes in the wild. They'll keep their diet balanced and peck away bugs and other greens in the process. The point is a chicken wouldn't overeat grapes and you should make sure that they don't. Now, can I give my chickens the stems of grapes? Yes, your chickens will peck away at every part of the grape, including the vine. Again, as long as your chickens don't choke or overdo it, they should be fine with the whole shebang. Yes, even seeds within the grapes. The only thing unsafe about grapes might be the chemicals that may have been sprayed on them when they were growing on the vine or afterward, but for the most part, I mean, it's not really something you should worry about. So what about raisins? Raisins are grapes, right? Yeah. But never forget that raisins are smaller and therefore the sugar content is more concentrated. Additionally, store-bought raisins may have unpleasant additives. Your chickens love raisins just as much as grapes, but like anything, moderation, moderation, moderation. Here's the thing, overeating raisins will cause your chickens to gain weight pretty quickly and that's just not healthy, especially if you're raising birds that naturally grow rapidly like broilers. Extra weight on a chicken can cause joint problems, inability to carry their own weight and other health issues. So sugary foods like raisins should be, again, moderation. Lastly, if your chickens stick up their beak at something you've offered them, let them take a hard pass on it because chickens are very good at knowing what they should and should not eat most of the time. That's going to do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learned something new, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.